Well, Shelby, summer is wrapping up, and today is a big day for students in one low country county. Yeah, it's wild to believe that the summer is almost <laughs> over for so many students here. The Georgetown County School District is back in session today and kicking off the school year with five new magnet schools as well. And our Madeline Jeskoia joins us live in studio right now to tell us more about these details and what we can expect to see. Good morning to you, Madeline. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. Five former Carver's Bay schools have been converted into magnet schools for the start of this school year. Georgetown County School District Superintendent Keith Price tells me this has been in the works for two, two and a half years, ever since they found out about a grant application opportunity through the Magnet Schools Assistance Program that's offered through the U.S. Department of Education. The grants aim to help schools with struggling academic achievement, high poverty, low opportunities, and high minority isolation. The district identified its Carver's Bay schools as a suitable candidate for a magnet program and submitted an application. And in September of last year, the school district was awarded one of 19 grants in America for $15 million. Three elementary, one middle, and one high school in Carver's Bay will feature a unique arts or sciences curriculum for students free of charge. Now the fun begins. So after all the planning and the, the envisioning and the brainstorming about what it might look like and put all that in an application, now we've learned that it's been awarded and since last September we've been getting ready for Thursday, which will be the first day of school for our students and our, and our teachers here in Georgetown County. The magnet schools are closed for enrollment for this school year, but will open again next year for students who wish to attend. Madeline Jaskowiak, Live 5 News.